And if you don't have a cable, he prefers you to do a side lateral and end with a style of a row at the back. I don't think the average beginner or intermediate lifter could do this properly. Coach Greg, in today's video, we're focusing on the only two, that's right, just two exercises that you need to develop bolder shoulders. And so perhaps you don't have an hour to train your shoulders or you're like me, you're training your shoulders three times a week doing a full body workout. And so you simply can't do that much volume. You're running short for time and you wanna pick the best possible exercises that will build the most muscle. And so let's compare what I'm doing to what Jeff Cavalier says to do. He has a video, it's titled, The Only Two Shoulder Exercises You Need. No, seriously. And so having watched Jeff Cavalier in the past, he normally promotes a ton of different exercises. So I'm quite excited to see, are his two exercises gonna be the same as mine? Now others may want you to believe that there's only two exercises that you need and that all other shoulder exercises just don't even provide any additional benefit. That's not what I'm saying. And so we're not saying that the other exercises that they don't work or that they're not beneficial. We're just saying if you could only pick two, if this were the only two you're allowed to do, that these are the best ones that you should be doing. And the first one has to be some variation of a press. Okay, and so I'm watching his video and it's just the two exercises you need. And so basically he says a standing overhead press with a barbell. Then he says a Z press, which is a seated shoulder press. Then he says you should do shoulder presses with dumbbells, either standing or seated. And then he concludes with a one arm overhead press that that is the one exercise you need to do. And so frankly, I'm not a fan of this. If you only have time for two exercises, why are you picking an exercise where you have to do one arm and then the other? You're short for time. You only got two exercises. Are you really going to stand there and do one set of 10 to 15 reps on one side, then put the dumbbell on and repeat on the left side doing 10 to 15 reps again? Not only that, when you do one arm at a time, you're going to be tired on the second round. Just think of it. You just did a set, perhaps it took 30 seconds with the right arm, your heart rate's up, you're breathing harder, then you have to repeat again on the other side? Are you gonna be able to push as hard on the second round as you were on the first? Probably not, and so if you do in fact do Jeff's exercises, the one arm shoulder press, I suggest you start with the weaker arm first. Most people are stronger on one side than the other, and so what you should do when you're fresh, you have the most energy, start with your weaker side. And so if your left side not quite as strong as your right, start on the left side and then proceed to the right. And in comparison, Harrison, what do I say you should do? Well, I think a machine shoulder press. Something that's pin selected that's very easy to adjust. And for the most part, every gym has one or two, maybe even three of these machines. Pick the one that you like the most. When I work out, I like to go from one machine to the other. It saves time, and so I'm doing kind of a circuit style of training. But because of that, sometimes the machine I want is taken. And so I'm not gonna sit there, wait for five minutes for that person to finish. I simply move on, look for the other machines at free. And so train it's not rocket science. If the machine is used, use another one. It's not a big deal. You don't have to hog every machine in the gym. You go from one machine, you use it, train harder than last time, walk over to another, and keep going. And when doing this exercise, try not to go too heavy. In my personal opinion, eight reps, that should be a minimum, but better to do somewhere between 10 and 15 repetitions. Now, if you're a beginner, you don't have to train to failure. If you're an intermediate, likely training to failure, but if you're advanced, you have several years of training in the gym, feel free to go to a failure and beyond. I like to go to failure as many reps as I can, drop the weight 20 to 30 pounds, and then repeat for another set. That allows me to get more effective reps as Jeff likes to do. And so regardless of the machine, you're going to be working hard. And it's a lot safer than using dumbbells with dumbbells. Sometimes you're trying to prop up the weight, swing at 100 pounds and in pressing it overhead, you can lose your balance, cause rotator cuff injuries, injure your shoulders and so on. And so for me, I like to use machines, quick, easy, very effective, allows you to train to failure and beyond. And when it comes to shoulders, it's pretty damn hard because you're forcing me to pick between one that targets more of the middle delt or one that targets the rear delt. And so in the next exercise, we want to focus on something that's going to give you the wide shoulder width that you need. To look aesthetic, you're trying to develop very wide shoulders. And for the most part, people are overdeveloping the anterior or front delt. And so we need to focus on the side to get the proper width, but we don't want to neglect the rear delt as we don't want to have poor posture, shoulders slouching forward. And so what is it that Jeff recommends? Some form of a lateral raise needs to be in the equation here. 
but we don't want to have to pick between the rear and the middle delt. And so rather than having to choose between the side or rear delt, as obviously they're both important, Jeff has an excellent exercise you can do to focus on both. And for me, that's where the side lateral raise is done with a cable. And so what Jeff wants you to do is a side lateral, but twist your body in order to make it a row at the end. And he prefers you do this with a cable. And if you don't have a cable, he prefers you to do a side lateral and end with a style of a row at the back. But to me, sounds very difficult. I do believe you need a certain level of skill or mind muscle connection in order to do this effectively. I don't think the average beginner or intermediate lifter could do this properly. And so of course it can work if you do it correctly. But I do believe my choice of exercise to finish this off is even better. I'll let you decide. Give either exercise a try and pick the one you like more. Try the cheat lateral again, because the cheat lateral is an exercise I always talk about being able to give you that heavy resistance. And so Jeff's suggestion of doing the cheat lateral where you have to use a very heavy weight, swing, angle yourself forward and arch at the top, I don't believe most people will do this effectively. I feel as though most people will end up eagle lifting and not do it effectively versus what I'm suggesting, which you're going to watch right now, I do think it's a little bit better. In comparison, what I like to do is a standing side lateral superset with a bent over lateral. That way you're working both the side delt and the rear delt in one combined exercise. Begin the exercise with strict form, and as you begin to get fatigued, it's okay to swing. Use a little body English. Nothing wrong with swinging, cheating a little bit to get a few extra reps. Once you're at failure, or slightly beyond, simply lean forward and continue to do an extra eight to maybe 10 repetitions. You'll already be pre-fatigued, you're already doing the exercise, and so why not add another 10 seconds to your exercise? You'll increase time under tension, get a great pump. You don't need to cheat or use a heavy weight. I highly recommend you give this exercise a try. And so when I'm in the gym, I'm doing the machine shoulder press as well as the side lateral combined with bent laterals. That's all I need to do. Perhaps three or four sets three times a week. That's all I'm doing for my shoulders. And remember, I train my entire body three times a week. I begin my sessions with 30 minutes of zone two cardio. And on days I'm not lifting weights, I'm racing bikes, typically 60 to 90 minutes. If you only think you need two exercises, you're doing it wrong. But if if you choose to only do two, then these two have to be it. And so Jeff says, you don't need to just do these two exercises, but if there's only two exercises to do, these two, they need to be it. And so Jeff's two, the one arm shoulder press with a dumbbell, follow that up with a cheat side lateral and mine in comparison, a seated machine shoulder press followed up by a side lateral superset with bent over laterals. Give these exercises a choice. And remember, you don't have to do just two, but if you're short on time, this is what I would recommend. Please experiment and find out what's best for you. And if you're training like me or training harder than last time, you're not recovering well between sets, doing lots of cardio, I strongly recommend GO2 Max, the main ingredient, NMN, shown to dramatically improve your ability to perform cardio. For example, if you're a runner, you take this, you're going to have improved cardio. You're going to go faster than last time. Have more energy, recover faster, burn more calories in less length of time. Andrew Huberman on the Joe Rogan podcast spoke extensively on the amazing benefits of NMN, the main ingredient in GO2 Max. Please go check out the episode episode 1958. If you don't believe me, please go check out the double blind placebo control studies. It's not the placebo effect and it's in human trials shown just how effective NMN is in the real world. My number one supplement better than creatine, as good as creatine is this, this the number one supplement for you. Interested in this? Code Greg, 10% off. Click the link in the description. Subscribe, click the bell button, comment for the algorithm. Like the video if you liked it. Are there any shoulder exercises you suggest should be in the top two? Watch the two bloops, at least one of them. And don't forget the cookbooks, the training books, coaching plans by me and my team, the circle diet book, all the HLT supplements and the clothing line. Click the link in the description. The free diet and training program, over 50 pages, link in bio, first, last name, email address. Also, Greg Doucette, IB Pro on Instagram. And until next time, I am out.